Hey guys, this is Norman Ward, and this is a program uh, for Minecraft called World Painter, similar to like MC Edit or World Edit or Voxel Sniper. Uh, it's better than World Edit and Voxel Sniper because it doesn't need to be updated. As soon as Mine, as soon as Minecraft updates, this will still work. Same with MC Edit, whereas World Edit and Voxel Sniper will not work. So basically, what you can do in this is make custom train so I'm going to do generate new world and this window pops up see a little preview here uh, you can change the dimensions of the world uh, you can actually add load other worlds as well so I'm going to make it a small world um, you can make it circular or not um, I'm probably just going to leave yeah I'll do circular uh, leave height at that because if you try and change it then it will say you can't it has to be like a world before anvil and it won't work anyway so so you might want to leave all this stuff kind of same water level um, if you're making your own custom terrain and don't want any water you would want to put that down to like zero um, lava instead of water you can swap that you can include beaches or not surface material for when you first generate um, you can do grass which is has long grass um, fur, not ferns flowers uh, and stuff like that whereas bare grass just has the grass block dirt obviously materials like that there's sand there's desert sandstone stone uh, rock includes stone and cobblestone uh, resources is just yeah there's loads of different things like deep snow makes snow box and nether like puts netherrack lava and all that good stuff so I'm just going to start out with bare grass um, uh, biomes automatic that will like ch change biome depending on what brush you're using you want to make it land obviously unless you want to make a water world you can put a custom seed in there um, so I'm going to call it my world custom one or something okay so it's generating this circular world because we asked for a circular world so I'm going to go through all the tools there's a pyramid here this does a I'll show you this pyramid first actually this pyramid just raises a pyramid like that you can uh, yeah so it just raises a pyramid if you do this one it puts it at a 45 degree angle so looks a bit different um, next you have flood the area with water I guess it depends on which height it is so you can do that uh, flood it with lava same thing depends on the height and that's just flooded the water let me flood some other bit of water there we are um, next this is like most useful tool if you scroll in and out you can change the brush size you can also change the shape and softness and you can add like a random texture like that to the terrain uh, so I'm just going to do this and I'm going to make it fairly big I'm going to make a mountain like that and then if you right click it makes a valley um, next it flattens it out from when from the heights that you click on and by the way this is strongness so the if you put this on max you can just click and it will do it instantly if you put it on halfway you have to wait a sec and it gradually does it like this whereas if this was on uh, max and you do that and it like, flattens it a lot quicker just to give you more control um, next you've got this tool which just smooths out the land just general smooth tool um, you got this one that makes like a point and obviously it'll be more a point if you made a square same as the pyramid but it doesn't make it out of sandstone I guess um, change the spawn point you could do it on MC edit or anything sponge dry up lava uh, yeah clear the biome layers okay so then also you can change the um, terrain so I can change this dirt and if you change the hardness the that bar I don't know what it's called because that, that's hardness whatever you can change that you can uh, put sand here and put sand with cactuses here so I think this is the beach biome this is the desert biome 
Uh, that's bare grass, that's grass with flowers, uh, stone. You can read all these yourself. Bedrock, you can make a bedrock thing. Mycelium. Uh, that'll make a mushroom biome. Deep snow, this looks the best. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to raise up the terrain here. I won't I'll get on like that at all. I'm going to change the density, I guess I'll call it. So you can just raise up the terrain really quickly and then just clear it in in snow. It's basically like paint, but you're just painting in Minecraft world. Um, so yeah, you've got the end of stone. You've also got this, can like you can toggle things you can see in the world. Um, you've also got five custom things here, so you can set the uh, things so you can say you want a cobweb area and you also change the data value on there as well so I'm going to make near the spawn here this cobwebs um, and then I'll say you can select two and then I don't know mossy cobblestone I think that's already a preset um, I don't know. Melon biome, sure. So I make some melons here. And there we are. So when you're done with that, you go on to uh, this thing here, export to Minecraft map. That just saves it so you can open the project up later. But this actually makes it into a map. So you click that and you'll get many more settings. So you're at general, so you can. Put the void border as void water or lava, um, or just no border. I'm not really sure what no border does because void is surely nothing. But um, underground material. So I'm going to make the underground material um, netherrack. Um, okay, bedrock wall. Probably don't want that. It's a bit ugly. Caverns. You can say caverns everywhere. You might want to put this down to about this density because. When I put it on halfway, it's they're everywhere. Uh, flood caverns, caverns break surface. You probably want, don't want to get rid of that, so it looks more natural. Uh, resources, you can change the percent uh, chance of a resource spawning underground. Um, other layers, trees and stuff, and all that good stuff. So I don't actually know how you do that. I guess you have to load a world to edit the Nether or the end with them tabs. Down here there's a chest of goodies, that just gives you those of hacked materials but if you're on creative it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, super flat um, that doesn't really matter it just depends on when you go out of the world past the void what it will generate after that. Um, structures on or off uh, survival mode, you can change that anyway allow cheats, you want that on and then anvil obviously for the new minecraft um, when you do click export, it will take about, I don't know, it could take about 5 minutes, 3 minutes, 2 minutes. It depends on how big the world is, what's in it, how high mountains are, and how good your computer is. So, it may look like it's crashed, but it hasn't. It just takes probably about 5 minutes, maybe, depending on the world. So, I'm going to do this now. Okay, you can see here my world custom 1. So, yeah. And we're in. I'm just going to wait for it to generate a second, but you can see the cobweb and the melon biome, <laughs> I guess. I don't know what a biome, I'd probably just say it's flatland plains, yeah. So here's the melon, uh, here's the ice things with the netherrack cave system. So this should be netherrack all the way through, if it, all the way down to like bedrock, it should be netherrack. Let me just test that. Yeah. So it's like being another. So we've got all these mountain biomes here, if you remember that. And if you look at the biome, it says uh, icy plains, ice plains. So that's good. Uh, here are the pyramids we made. So here's the normal pyramid. And this is the 45 degree pyramid. Here's the lava pool we flooded, which is pretty cool. Uh, here's the mushroom biome. 
and you still still see that all the ores are still spawning here. The only thing that does change is emeralds can spawn in a group, like they have the same chances of a diamond spawning and all the same rates and everything. So you can see this should be Mushroom Island, which it is. So that's good, and you can see the my the world is circular, so it gets chopped off, and I think it's. Uh, 256 blocks away the land will generate like flatlands after that so yeah so you won't be able to see it ever here's the pool of water we flooded here's the ender biome let's see what it actually says sky um, here's some triangle thing I was messing around with the fake pyramid tool to make this, um, as you can see, this don't this doesn't have any cactuses because this is a beach biome. It should be anyway, maybe not. Um, okay, that should be a beach biome anyway. Cause the thing changes color. I maybe it's just too small to be classed. So that's a desert biome now. This should probably just be plains now. It's bedrock. Yep. And you can see, and that's about it, you know. Um, so, yeah, pretty cool. It's good the fact it doesn't need to be updated. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.